So I wanted to start this flip video with a little uh, continuation of where we ended in class today. And so at the end of the lesson, we were talking about how ocean currents can directly affect the climate. So let's talk about coastland and areas of land that are actually located along the ocean. Well, one thing, since water does have such a high specific heat, they're not going to have an influctuation of a change in temperature as greatly as somewhere that is inland. Um, places along the coast like Galveston, New York, San Francisco, all that, they're not going to heat up as much in the summer because they are near that body of water and it takes so much heat and energy to raise the water that that water is going to help to keep them cooled off. And also on the flip side, they're going to not be as cold in the winter. So coastlines like Hawaii and all those places I said are going to have a more even seasons. You're not going to see the dramatic change. The farther inland you go, the greater the change between the temperatures are going to be with it, the corresponding seasons. Okay, but here's the meat of this uh, flip video, land and sea breezes. So let's focus on the left. We can talk about sea breezes. Now, again, because water and land heat up at different rates, it's going to create a, a convection current. So let's look at this example. Notice it's daytime and the water is around 65 degrees where the land is 85. Because land heats up so much faster than water, it, they both could have started at the same temperature, but that uh, land is going to heat up during the day. So it's going to, the air above the land is also in turn going to heat up faster. And when it heats up, it's going to rise. It's then going to move out where it will cool off now that it's over the cooler water. And it's going to contract and sink and then move back to this area of low pressure, creating a convection cell. But we call these sea breezes. And what actually happens during the day is that because the land heats up faster is if you're standing on the coast anywhere in the world, the wind is always going to be blowing off of the ocean towards the land, which is what we call sea breezes. Now, if you've ever been to the beach, I want you to think about it. It's always windy, always day, evening, afternoon, whatever. It's always windy. And the reason is, is because of that unequal heating of that water and the earth. On the flip side, now let's go to nighttime. Again, the sun goes down, so the land cools off extremely quickly. Notice the water only changed about two degrees, where the land has dropped 35 degrees. Now that it's nighttime, the water is warmer. And so because the water is warmer, hence why we also see steam coming off of water at night in pools and bathtubs and ponds and all that kind of stuff when the air is cold and the water is still warm, the air above it is going to rise. It is then going to move out and expand and then move over the cold land so that air is going to contract and condense and sink and then move off back to the ocean. So if we wanted to talk about pressure, it's almost like we could write an L right here for low pressure because it's rising up as well as over the land during the day. And then this would be high pressure because it is sinking down. And so we call these land breezes. Again, the wind is blowing off the land into the ocean and this happens at night. So this is why it is always windy on the coast. But during the day, the, land, the wind comes off the ocean, and at night, the wind comes off the land. So make sure that you understand, based on the convection currents and between that unequal heating, because water has such that high specific heat. So in your flip notes, go ahead and make sure that you have drawn both these pictures labeled and that you understand, because like I said, you are going to have a take-home test this week, and the better your notes, the better your grade. So land and sea breezes, they do occur because of that specific heat of land and water and the difference create those convection currents like we saw. So this is just another picture. Again, this one has is showing the low pressure as it, the air is rising and forming these clouds and then the wind can blow it over here where it sinks to create high pressure. 
All right. Um, now, before I go off, that's really all I wanted these notes to be about. But since I said you are getting a um, take-home test, I talked about this in class and I drew it on the board. But I wanted to make sure that you have it in your notes to show the um, global forces winds and their patterns. Here are the convection cells happening in the upper atmosphere. We call these Hadley cells. Here are our trade winds, remember, blowing towards the equator because that is where we get the most direct sunlight. Our westerlies, our northern westerlies, where we are. Again, remember how all of our storms always come from the southwest. The southern westerlies and then our polars. So just remember when you're looking at these and if you have a question on them, always start with the arrowheads going to the equator and then go opposite. So it should be arrowhead to arrowhead arrow tail to arrow tail, head to head. And you just can complete in that pattern, okay? But if you'll also notice over here, because this is where there's a, the most intense low pressure, notice that that's where there's also a lot of storms and most equator has the uh, tropical rainforest, which has a lot of rain. Note at the 30 degrees north, the Tropic of Cancer, and the 30 degrees south, the Tropic of Capricorn, it actually doesn't have a lot of rain, and this is where most of all the deserts around the entire world happen to be located, at that 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south. It isn't just a coincidence, it is the uh, trends of the convection currents that are occurring in the atmosphere. Okay, and then there also is a picture of the ocean currents, Again, red means they are warm surface currents, and the blue means they are cold, deep water ocean currents. If you have any questions, let me know.